Alrighty guys, so the next step in the process of making objects look more 3D is to use continuous tone. Now for this um, technique, we're just going to start off at the tone dark bar, end of um, um, the 5 and we're just going to start off really dark like this and as I move forwards I'm going to just be pressing a little bit lighter and a bit more lighter and what will happen is the bottom of my pencil will get nice and flat and <clears throat> it should give me a really um, nice kind of even finish like that. Now I will need to go back over it sometimes so I just go back over here and you can notice how I can fix up some areas that are too dark. Now it's, it's a lot harder to, to rub out tone than it is to add more tone. Um, so I'm just going to kind of keep slowly working over it and eventually getting it really nice and smooth like that. I always find it easier to start at the dark end and push forwards um, than start at the light end and come back. So that's our continuous tone bar. Now basically uh, with our cylinder um, we're going to be, so we've got one in the middle and five on each outside edge. We're going to be doing a tone bar that just ranges from five here to one in the middle. Okay, so at a basic level it's going to look like this. And blending in. So for the ball, what we want to do is roughly remember that the light tone is in this area here, just like the tone by numbers. But we want to, so we want to start around the bottom and we just basically want to tone kind of around. Now we could do tone bars like this that head towards the, the light tone and fade out. That's one way of doing it. But I like to just kind of just add tone all around the image. Sometimes off to the side I'll just try and get a nice flat piece on my, on my uh, pencil. So that just makes everything a little bit easier for toning. Try not to do one direction too much with your um, pencil because it makes it harder to um, get rid of those lines later on. Okay, so we're just moving around here. Alright, and we'll just speed through the main part of this toning. So once you've got it basically like that, <clears throat> then you start looking around for areas that um, aren't consistent in the tone. So just down here you can see there's a few lighter areas, so just slightly go over them, toning them back towards the middle. And you can see that I've probably gone a bit dark in here. So what I'm going to do is just use the, uh, use the rubber and just kind of work back a little bit into there. Not too much, just to kind of bring out the highlight in that part there. Now you could keep working on this for as long as you want really, just getting it uh, smooth and consistent all the way around. Um, normally when I'm working on this and if I'm not filming it, I'll just be flipping the paper around um, to get it to the right angle that's easiest for, um, for me to draw. Okay, and now I'm just going to add a bit of um, smudging in. You don't want to over smudge. Um, you just want to just use it as a, a technique for just blending the tone together a little bit. And then again, you can use the, the rubber if you want here, just to kind of pop out that white. Yeah, just remember to try and do it a bit lightly um, so it doesn't kind of appear too obvious. Cool, that looks good. Now the other thing that you can do is if you think about where the light is coming from, it's coming from this direction here, so, or from the front, sorry. So we're going to see a bit of a shadow, and the shadow is going to come kind of out like this, kind of like that. And what I do for that normally is I'll just add a little bit of tone in there, and then I'll smudge that quite a lot. Sometimes there's enough um, pencil just on your fingers just to smudge it. 
like that, or you can just come off the side. And <clears throat> you can also add in like a little line here, just to give it a feeling that it's sort of sitting up against a wall. I just need a little bit more tone in the shadow here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And there we go, that's finished.